Selecting a channel and pressing the processing screen key displays arguably the most important screen on the SQ. The processing screen displays an eight channel overview and by touching any of the processing sections, we see details and control parameters with the overview for the selected channel alongside. Different types of channel have different processing available. In this video, we'll be looking at input channels. So the processing signal path runs from top to bottom, beginning with the preamp. This section contains gain and trim controls, along with 48 volt phantom power, pad and polarity switches. Stereo channels have stereo image settings, and this is also where the millisecond channel delay is set. To make any adjustments to a value, just touch to select and adjust using the touchscreen rotary. The next process is the high pass filter, though for convenience, this is displayed in the EQ section. Following this is a gate with sidechain and filter, detailed parameter controls, and a histogram to show activity. Then comes the insert point, which allows you to patch in rack effects units or use external digital or analog processing. This then leads into the four band fully parametric EQ. And this is also the screen where the high pass filter is displayed and controlled. Lastly, we have the channel compressor. Like the gate, this has sidechain and filter settings, detailed parameter controls, and a histogram to show activity. There is also the ability to switch in and adjust parallel compression. In addition to working in this way with the touchscreen, there are dedicated physical controls on the SQ surface, giving quick access to the main parameters. These are active when a channel is selected, no matter which screen you're in. There are keys to switch processing in or out, and the rotary controls illuminate to show which of them can be adjusted. All of this processing is available on every single one of the SQ's 48 input channels.